This is Prowl1701, and I'm doing my first review for my very first Ultra Sabers lightsaber. It is an Initiate V3 in the regular silver color. Now, they have different variations of the Initiate. They have the Initiate, which is the silver color, as you can see right here. They also have a dark Initiate that's black, an Initiate LE, which is like this, but with gold around the rings right here and then a dark initiate which is black with silver rings i went with the regular initiate i like it got the standard well not the standard activation switch but the av switch here which is a little different than the regular one it's non-illuminated although you can get it illuminated to where it lights up went with the guardian blue blade and i added the catalyst pommel because i thought it looked a little better and completed the lightsaber to me the regular initiate looks just fine, but for me, this catalyst pommel fits it like a glove. Goes with it perfectly. You can see the blade here. I went with the Ultra Edge, which gives it a brighter look. As you can see right there in the Guardian Blue, because I'm a traditionalist, so I like to, as a Jedi, I like to have a blue lightsaber to start off with as my first one. Looks really nice. Got a good color to it there. Very bright, very bright. I have a friend of mine who has an FX Saber, and this is, he keeps commenting on how much brighter this one is and how much louder. You can actually hear it. It's got many sound effects that I'll get into in just a moment. Also, it comes with several other things. This is the wrench. You can actually take the blade out, which I won't do here. It takes a moment, but I'll show later in the program. But you use this to unscrew it. And also, if you have the blade out, you pop this blade plug right in. That way it keeps dust out if you want to display it without the blade in and just the hilt sideways. You can use this to keep dust in. Also, if, you, if you're flashing it around, if you have this in, you won't blind somebody. This is also here. This is your charger. They come, if you get it with sound, it comes with uh, ion batteries that are rechargeable. You just plug them in there and they recharge. And I'll get more into that in just a second. I'm going to hand the camcorder off to one of my friends who's here with me. Well, I can show you some of the other things about the Initiate. As you can see, it's got a couple contour grooves here. I'm hitting the fan. <laughs> got a couple contour grooves here, which is perfect choke points for holding the saber. I prefer to hold mine like this. There's many different ways people can hold it. It's your choice. I actually like the catalyst pommel because, again, it gives the saber a little more length, which is perfect for the way I tend to hold the saber like this. You can actually hear some of the sound effects. Got the swinging sound. Got the clashing sound. For saber lock up when you're locking sabers. Also, Also sound effects for other clashes. Now, the clashing lock activates simply by pressing the activation switch really quickly, holding the button down, deactivates the saber, pressing it activates the saber. Pressing once, really fast, does your lock up. Pressing again really fast, deactivates the lock up, but keeps the saber on. Now, when you take the blade out, hold the button down. A little screw right here you just take your wrench plug this in right here takes a second I'll set it down here I work a little easier and twist you don't want to twist it through too far you can twist that little screw right out and that's a pain in the neck to find and it comes right out and you can have your saber out like this it'll still activate just fine Kind of like a flashlight in a way. Kind of like a flashlight in a way. Impressive. And then you just take your blade plug. Well, that fit into this one quite well. This actually, this actually, I didn't order a blade plug with. This is actually the blade plug from my second saber, which I'll also be getting a review up for soon. The Manticore. But it's good to have one. It is good to have one. I should have ordered one for this one. I am on all my future purchases. I actually like that, though. It keeps the keeps the uh, dust out. You can also lock it back in the same way I showed you before. Now your batteries, to get access to the batteries, all you have to do is unscrew your pommel, 
like so. And then lightly and very gently just kind of bat it in your hand, bat it flush. And this is about as far as you need to pull this out. I wouldn't pull it any further, you risk damaging your wires. And here are your, your uh, ion batteries. They simply pop out and pop into the charger I showed you before. And then uh, after you've charged them, you simply put it back in. You'll hear a little sound that lets you know it's activated and in properly. And screw your pommel back in, which actually always seems to take me a second. There we go. And your saber is ready to go. And also to put the blade back in is simple. You simply slide it back in. Take your little wrench right here. And just tighten it right back up like that. And it's set. And once again, you're good to go. I definitely got a comment on the. I've definitely got a comment on the quality of the saber. It's a really high quality metal. I'm really pleased with it. The saber, it's not too heavy and or cumbersome. At the same time, it doesn't feel light and cheap. It's got a very solid feel to it. I've handled several different brand sabers, and including a few of the FX sabers, and I, I love this one leaps and bounds above them. The sound quality is loud, and it's also very clear. There's no static in it. It sounds perfectly crisp and sharp. The blade, you can, I mean, again, you can see just how much with the light off this thing illuminates behind me here. It's, it's quite a good bit. It's a very bright blade. You can get a, another blade that's not quite as bright, the mid-grade blade, but I prefer the Ultra Edge myself. I like the brightness of the blade. When I walk out outside, it works perfectly. If you've considered getting a lightsaber, if you're interested in lightsabers, I'd suggest going to ultrasabers.com. The people who run it are very courteous, very nice. They have great customer service. If you have any issue, they will definitely stay in contact with you and get it resolved. And they have a multitude of saber handles to choose from, a multitude of blades, a multitude of colors. They have a forum that you can become a member of that has some of the best conversation I've seen since I've become a member of. I can only think of one other forum actually where I have conversations I enjoy as much. They're well mannered, they're easy to get along with. So not only are you getting a totally awesome lightsaber when you join up with Ultra Sabers, but you're also getting a bunch of new people to discuss Star Wars and anything else you want to talk about with. Uh, I mean, there's so many advantages to buying a lightsaber from Ultra Sabers. The only, I guess if there's only one little thing I have against the saber is that the tip is not quite as bright as the rest of the saber. And really, that is the only thing I can think of to say about it. Other than that, it is perfect. I've never had a lightsaber handle that has felt as comfortable in my hands as this Initiate V3. It's very comfortable. Easy to wield, easy to learn, easy to pick up on. So if you're thinking about getting a lightsaber, I would suggest at least giving Ultra Sabers a look because I honestly think if you purchase from them, you will not regret it. And what's the retail price for one of these suckers? It varies. You actually get to customize your saber. You build it the way you want. So the end price is actually up to you because it depends on what all you get with it. You build the saber to your specifications and they build it. Mm. So it, it's definitely a good deal. I would like to suggest it. At least give it a look if you're interested. So, I'm going to leave on that note. On a scale of 1 to 100, I give this lightsaber a 99.